So another update on the Javron Super Cub build here at AirTech Coatings. Uh, been kind of out of pocket for a week, 10 days. Uh, been out of town applying some flooring, some hard deck flooring. It's a product that we make here at AirTech for hanger floors. And if you're not familiar with it, uh, like us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram and see kind of what we do on that. But I'm back kind of getting started now. I did a few shots of these plenums and how they were gonna have to come down and form into the round holes of the Selkirk cow. I'm just about done. I've got a little bit more work. These actually will set on the outside of the inlet, you know, and, and I'm thinking it may create a little bit of a venturi as the air goes in. If not, I'll put some kind of a foam there cause of engine movement. I've still got a little, little hickey stuff going on here. I've just got this up and it's gonna have a rubber that'll touch right against the bottom. I'm still a little bit in the forming of that. Um, I'll put a few pictures. It's kind of a long process. on doing, making just a one-off form. Um, I have did some mold with fiberglass and carbon fiber, and I have did some vacuum mold stuff, and I'll tell you right up front, I'm, I'm just not good at it, I'm not neat. Uh, I get it done, and that's about all I can say. That's the reason later on I'll show some parts that's unique to Super Cubs that Carbon Concept sells, and I just look at it as he's done did the work to make little molds of little odd and end things and there's just no use of me going to the trouble when someone else is making a living do it so i support them and and it saves me a lot of time but something like this you wouldn't be able to buy still like a little work on it uh i will probably i'm thinking on making a little access panel out of carbon to get to your stop spark plugs these are not tremendously bad to take off it's probably seven or eight screws uh, I'm going to create a little close-in under these where they slide over the push rod tubes. Uh, I'll probably go with just a finch. This thing doesn't weigh much. I might can make a little flat one out of carbon. I haven't weighed that, but as far as the inlets for the back to seal that up. Uh, I've got a carbon fiber tube that I've, I've uh, secured in with a with a glue that's heat resistant and it'll be on the inside also, so I'll run a light scat tube over. I'll have one more for my alternator on the back. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm actually waiting on a set of exhaust. A friend of mine had an extra set built by Vetterman that we think is gonna work. It's a crossover exhaust, weighs 12 pounds. I should get that within a week. And I'm gonna stop on the cowling until I get that. And I'm not gonna finish the oil cooler until I get that exhaust because I don't wanna build around something that's unknown. Uh, one of the other things, it's Christmas here at AirTech. I always like it when something comes in. I came back from on the road doing the flooring and those were sitting out in front of AirTech. Uh, shout out to Airframes. They are very prompt. You know, we're in Alaska and we're down here in Arkansas and you can call and in like two days they're here. And I don't, I'm not sure if I'm speaking out of turn, but I think you, when you buy a set of these, there's free shipping. I may be wrong, but I mean, when you call up there, the, the products are on the way and prompt, and I appreciate them for that. Uh, I mentioned before the reason I'm going with the Behringer, a little bit of weight savings. Uh, I'm hoping that the what I'm doing on the gear, I'm going to be able to maybe replace this just with a larger axle. I'm not sure yet. And as I told you before, this is just the way I got rid of the red color. We've got a metallic gray to kind of match the plane. So I'm in the process of gonna get these mounted up and put together. Um, that'll be the next, probably tomorrow night, I'll probably get them put together and just laid to the side and waiting on a few other parts. So it's slowly coming together. Um, I, haven't, I haven't weighed the tires. I know about what they weigh. I'm always curious if they vary a little bit from tire to tire, cause they are hand built, but that's, that's Neither here or there, that's what I'm gonna run is the 31s. Kind of looked at the 29s, they were about a pound a piece lighter, but you know, it's the 31s is what I've always been used to running and whenever I've built a plane to sell it. So that's what I'm gonna run on this one. Thank you.